Hi, I'm Emma McKeon. I'm just going to show you a few tips and tricks that I've always used along the way that have helped me in swimming. So the first skill will be on streamlining. It helps you to move through the water really quick. First one will be doing a streamline up in an I and then pushing off like that and then pushing off in a Y and then pushing off in a T and then you can work out which one is the quickest. So the next skill will be on breathing. It's important to remember to breathe out when your head's looking down at the bottom and then breathe in when you turn your head to breathe. Using a kickboard and just arms out in front holding the bottom and breathing out like this and then when you turn your head you breathe in and then back all doing freestyle kick. Notice how when my hand moves past my hip that I accelerate through the back of my stroke. The next skill will be kicking. We're going to use a pool boy and just do a one lap kicking on your front with the pool boy up in streamline. And then you're going to turn to your side and kicking on your side, and then you'll turn onto your back and then turning onto your other side for the next for the fourth lap. And then if you want, you can use flippers because it is a bit of a hard one. Notice how when I'm kicking on my side, I'm making myself so much taller and kicking through my hips. So the next one's a bit of a fun one that you can do and it's working on your streamline, which we've um, practiced in the last few exercises. So you'll be pushing off the bottom of the pool in streamline, and just doing a big jump out of the water. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, which I do often in training, um, just to add a little bit of resistance, you can use some shorts. So it looks easy, but it actually is quite hard to keep your core switched on when you're pushing off. So it's a good exercise for practicing your streamlines off the wall. So the next one's a bit of a strength one that you can do. It's on the side of the pool, just pushing up like this and lowering yourself back down into the water. You can try about 10 reps and as you get stronger or to make it a bit more challenging for yourself, you can go deeper and deeper. So you don't have the bottom to push off of. I'm going to do about 10, and this is a good exercise for building your strength and working your triceps. So now it's a bit harder in the deeper water because I don't have the bottom to push off of. So it's a bit more challenging. So that's my backyard tips and tricks. If you want to go one step further, you can watch Elijah Whittington's videos.